well, that's it. Make me feel good. Episode 248. Zoe, we got a special themed episode today. Can you tell what the theme is? Change your shirts and keep it going? No, it's not. Changing shirts isn't a theme. Okay, well, what is it? Zoe? What's the theme? What do you, by looking at me, what do you think the theme is? One giant leap? One giant. We're talking all about one giant today on the podcast. It's space. One giant leap for mankind, one giant leap for mankind. Okay. Into space. Into space. By Neil deGrasse Armstrong. (laughs) You remember him? You remember when Neil Armstrong drove his bike to the fucking moon? I do. I remember that, actually, specifically, because that's never been done before. Live strong. Okay. So (laughs) we're going to do a, there was something on Twitter the other day that um, spiked my interest a lot. Okay. And uh, it was a lady who either worked for NASA or she, fuck, I should know this. She either worked for NASA or she was an actual space person. Okay. Spaceman. Uh, An astronaut? Astronaut. That's the one. That's the one. Astronaut. Uh all right. See, Dude, uh, already legitimately proving thought, that I am better than you. Not at counting. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Beat that. Um, how good is being a grown <laughs> call the astronaut spaceman? <laughs> what the fuck? Idiot. No. I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, you're not. Keep, <laughs> yeah, kind of, Keep though. going. Yes. So yeah. anyway, her name is uh, Mary Robinette. Okay. Como. Como. Cowell. Cowell. Mary Robinette Cowell. See, going back to your poor Como. handwriting, because you can't even say words. There are three or four letters in my alphabet that could be three or four <laughs> letters. Um, facts about pooping in space. Okay, tell me about them. <clears throat> are you interested in space? I am. Do you have any invested interest in space? And now I'm invested in pooping in space. What is your first memory of space? Oh, wow. Good question. I have none other than looking up at it. Do you remember being a kid and being like, let's learn about space. It's the sea of the uh, sky. What what do you start? You start learning about it in like third grade, right? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Uh, So do you... Learning all the planets. Did you have a favorite planet? You know, Pluto was the farthest one. Not a planet. (laughs) <laughs> Back in the day it was It was It was at one time uh, You know Yeah So keep going I'm invested in Do you have any fondness for space now? I mean other than watching the beautiful stars sparkle at that You I do kind of have an affinity for stars yeah. And we'll get into it Okay <laughs> And then We're going to get into a fight and then hopefully right. there will oh all my god don't podcast. do not <laughs> Mary Robinette <laughs> Como Como says pooping in space um this is so there was a tweet thread and it was all about going to the bathroom in space okay. and she was answering questions about how astronauts spacemen and women uh-huh. do this and how difficult it is and how because there's no gravity so many people were worried about yeah, like, where does it go? How do you do Because you can't just sit and interl it. Right. Right? Because it's all fucked up. Right. Space is all fucked up. That's a lot of what we learned in third grade. Right. Thank you. Um, he just moved hair out of my mouth. So me. listen to this. Let's listen. Everyone, listen with me. <laughs> listen to us. With no gravity to break it, with no gravity to break it off as it exits the body, you have to reach back and break it off with special gloves. Talking about poop now. So go ahead and picture that for a long time. Right? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Yeah. I didn't think that gravity was the thing that broke it off. I was just like, I always thought like, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when a, when a poop is done, like that was yesterday. Like that was <laughs> cheeseburger, fries, milkshake yesterday. Yeah. And then this morning I had a protein bar and a work sh- a workout. 
<laughs> so <laughs> like this right like that thing in the mall where you had to not touch the metal to the yeah yeah and it, or else it goes <laughs> right and then squeak squeal squeak like that yeah and that was poops that's a video podcast situation all tiers of the patreon of course privy to video podcast information full apps good plug so what do you think about that space That's special space- spaceman gloves so you could break poop poop breaking gloves well what happens when you when you got to pee i'll get to it okay peeing is actually the next one okay there have been many different kinds of apparatuses uh huh since the they started sending men and women into space to uh-huh. become spacemen and women. <clears throat> We're working off a funnel tube bag fan for suction system. Well, why wouldn't they use that for pee, poop too? Because it's different. Sometimes, most times, and I learned this, they tape a bag to their asshole. You ever do that? Maybe around Christmas? No, but Trick we should treat. start doing that. I'm not taping a bag to my asshole. Can we, we please have gravity. do this once? If I promise you Can we that pretend like we don't have gravity and have you poop in it for one time? One time? You can't do this for everyone one for time. one time? All right, Wyclef Jean. One time, one time. If we... Two times, two times. I'll make you a deal. Okay. If we, move, if we end up falling on hard times and we can no longer afford gravity, I'll shit in a bag. Okay. I think that you... Oh, never mind. Keep going. Uh, if the toilets break, listen to this. So there's a funnel situation. You pee down a tube. There's a little fan for suction. Sometimes, a lot of the times, toilets break. And the pit, everyone's piss, will come up out of the toilet Mm-mm. and float around the cabin as a big ball of piss. I can't imagine what that smells like. That, it must be terrible. Bunch of different pisses, right? And you know that these people haven't tried to drink anything for a while, so they piss the least amount, so you know it smells like dehydration piss, right? And then because of, because it's very acidic and because of chemicals in the toilet, it is purple. When it comes out. So imagine like you're over here, like uh, increase the space thrusters and we have to thrust (laughs) and the parachute and back thrusters. Right. And then you turn around. (laughs) It's a floating orb of purple piss. And you're like, Johnson, do you you smell? Do you smell like piss? Johnson. Johnson. Did you wet your spaceman suit? If we didn't have gravity, that wouldn't have been a problem. Um, that's so crazy. But imagine that. So yeah, during malfunction, it's also possible for a giant floating globe of piss to come out of the toilet. And due to chemicals, it's a bright purple and acidic, kind of like a dodgeball. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> imagine. But that. wouldn't you like want to have like a like something to catch it or like like a piss net. Yeah, or like a fucking jar. That would be so funny if you try to catch it in a a net. Well, if it fits. If the piss fits. If the piss fits, jar it. Don't throw a piss fit. I used to get, well, that's twice. How do you drop a pen twice in one episode about space? I did it. Um, If there was a net. Imagine somebody tried to catch it in a butterfly net and it just splits into a thousand little piss balls. Dude, imagine like taking a piece and like throwing it at Johnson because he was being a dick. (laughs) Yeah. Or like just they're floating and you're just like, really? You're going to you're the only one who brought snacks We're in space and you have your own snack, selfish snack uh, uh, drawer in space. You're going to be that. And here comes the piss ball. Great timing, great comic timing on the piss ball. And then you just go like this. You're Johnson and I'm me. Sad about your snacks. Yeah. I go like this. Swipe off. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
and does it like splash in my face? No, it's not going to splash. It's well, you just have a helmet gonna, on, like, probably, right? No, they don't wear helmets in the, in the in, no. station. Yeah. So is it just going to like <laughs> cover my face and then pop back off like in one full swoop? There will be some. It'll go like this. It'll go. It'll do one of these. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right? Yeah. But it also will explode in several different Do you think so? And then you're like, you ever see Michael Jackson's video with Janet Jackson for, for, what was it? What was the one where they were both in space? They're like, Um, that's kind of every Michael Jackson song. (laughs) But the one where they're in space and it was a huge deal. You know what I mean? And they're playing that game. They're playing like space highlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how it would be, but with piss. If you have an argument with someone, you go into the you go into the like racket space racquetball room and you play high piss highlight. <laughs> and then the loser <laughs> loses. <laughs> but I feel like it would be like slime, right? Like uh like, You get slimed. You know? Yeah. But I think it would break apart in a million things. You know, like it when makes, they try to no, drink tang. I don't think so. When they try and drink what? Tang. Uh, in space? Yeah. They drink tang in space. Yeah. I thought they weren't trying to drink anything in space because of. Tang was invented for space. 